If you decide it, I'm not going to allow my fears to stop me. And I'm saying to you, whatever you got to do, do it. Because if you don't, life is going to whoop you until you surrender. So when you're young and you make mistakes, don't let them eat you up. Because mm. everybody that done made it, done made them. You got to fail in order to win. Hey, look, man, to understand how to hit the game when it's shot, you got to miss the game when it's shot. You know, you got to be tough because the road to success is always under construction. It's never a clear path to success. The people who become successful are the people who have a relentless attitude. And you just got to hang in there through the bad breaks because the bad breaks is coming, but they usually come right before the big break is about to happen. You get a series of bad breaks and it stumbles up a lot of people. My life and my success is to say to anyone, you can stumble, you can fall, you can get back up again. No matter what you face, no matter how bad it is going to be, when there is a challenge, and by a challenge I mean anything in life, any, any challenge, anything that you're facing, the only way to overcome the challenges that you put myself in cold water, put myself in a hundred mile race millions of times before I've done it. And I've able to go through the race and see I'm gonna feel at mile 50. Almost to the almost to the exact exact feeling. Right. So when it comes up, it's no surprise. It's no surprise. I've already done this a million times. I recommended the last time I was here the little book Richest Man in Babylon and I said I've lectured now to over three million people. Guess how many have actually gone and got this little book? Answer, very few. My best guess is 10%. Such an easy thing to do. This little book, number one, is easy to find. Number two, it's easy to buy. The most you can pay for it, six, seven, eight dollars. You can borrow that from your kids. But if it's easy to find and easy to buy, and if it's easy to read, why wouldn't everybody go get it? We don't know. I don't know, nobody knows. Here's how profound it is. Some do and... Some don't. Now here's the numbers. About 10% do. We don't know the mystery of that. And I'm telling you, 10 years from now, those numbers will still be the same. The numbers don't change. Only the faces change. I used to belong to the 90% who couldn't be bothered even if it was easy. How many people have a library card? Answer, 3%. 97% couldn't be bothered. Guy specializes in happy hour, but he doesn't have a card. And now readily and quickly blames the government and blames his company and blames the pay scale. Here's my advice to you today. Walk away from the 97%. Don't talk like they talk. Don't go where they go. Don't act like they act. Don't specialize in what they specialize in. Throw away the blame list they cling to. You got to be consciously conscious today because your environment can hypnotize, mesmerize, and paralyze you. The other thing is, take full responsibility for your life. Oscar Wilde once said, responsibility is what we expect from somebody else. This is very true. Most people dread accepting responsibility. That's just a fact of life. And we can see it in operation every day. We can see ourselves getting hot under the collar when the dentist keeps us waiting and we're sitting there reading old magazines when our appointment was 30 minutes ago. And we don't stop to think that we forgot to mail in this month's mortgage payment. We can see ourselves growing angrier and angrier because a business contact is supposed to call at noon and here it is almost two o'clock and the phone still refuses to ring. But we don't stop to think about the calls we ourselves have forgotten to return while we've been so busy fuming. We can see ourselves writing an angry letter to the airline because a flight was delayed, but we don't write an angry letter to ourselves when we're late for something, even though that might not be a bad idea at all. Yes, we can see avoidance of responsibility all the time in both our personal and professional lives. 
And here's something else we can see just as often. We can see that most people aren't as successful